Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today I'm in the beautiful and exotic city of Havana here in Cuba and I'm visiting what used to be the Havana Hilton. You see once this hotel was completed and named the Havana Hilton it only lasted for nine months before the rebels of Fidel Castro stormed through the front door and took over the hotel and nationalized not only this hotel but everything else here in this country. So in this particular video we're going to view the Hilton, what is now the Habana Libre from outside and then we're going to come inside and view the, the ground floor. So this is Vic, let's go for a walk. We're going to learn quite a bit about Cuban history as well. Let's go for a walk, let's do it. Well, I am uh, standing in a corner, a very, very busy corner, very noisy. This is Street L, L as in light, and Street 25. It's this intersection here. I'm about 500 meters southeast from the American Embassy. And from here, I have a beautiful view, a full view what was the short-lived Havana Hilton that you see there in front of me. It was newly completed at the end of 1958. 24 floors of luxury huge investment for the Hilton chain. And it was very short-lived indeed. You see at that time, at the end of the 1950s, the American government was supporting the corrupt leader of Cuba, Batista, and a lot of American dollars, mainly from the American Mafia, was pouring into Cuba and a lot of the large chains, American chains, hotel chains decided to invest a lot of money in Cuba and so did Hilton and they built this absolutely huge beautiful hotel you can tell from the architecture, this is a 1950s, nine, early 1960s architectural design and style. Well, nine months after the Hilton was completed, Fidel Castro in 1959 was very successful in overthrowing Batista. And of course, he took over Cuba and nationalized everything included and including this Hilton that you see here. Let's move closer to the intersection so we can get a better view of the Hilton. During the first year after the success of the revolution, Castro ruled Havana from the 24th floor, from the corner up there that you see. Of course, this hotel was nationalized. Hilton lost the whole investment in the building, and it was renamed Habana Libre. It doesn't look like the uh, building has been, how should I put it, mildly maintained. A lot of uh, the windows seem to be broken, curtains missing, especially here on the floor above the shopping center that you see here. 
there are broken windows and a lot of uh, wood placed on the doors. So this is it guys, the Hilton that almost was the Havana Hilton. It is no more. This is the Habana Libre and the headquarters of Fidel Castro for the first months after his the success of his revolution in 1959. What an amazing part of Cuban history this hotel has played. It was open for nine months only. If only the Hilton management had realized that Fidel Castro was going to be successful in overthrowing Batista, they would not have poured the millions of dollars they poured in order to build what is now the iconic and symbolic Habana Libre. I'm now at the uh, front of the uh, Hilton of the Habana Libre. You can see the tuk-tuk taxis waiting for passengers here. Let's go a couple of steps up and walk towards the entrance of what once was the Hilton. There's a 670 square meter mural made out of Venetian tiles by Amelia and lies right there you can see part of it it's really falling apart it's cracked all over the place so let's go through the front see if we are allowed to go in and videotape here's a view of the mural it must have been beautiful when it was first installed Let's see what the uh, Habana Libre looks like inside. Here's the reception desk right there. It's uh, Christmas time, so that's why you see the Christmas tree right there. A staircase that will take you up to the second floor. Very cheap furniture here, not Hilton-like. Let's admire the dome here because you can see up through the holes here of the glass, of the pieces of glass that have fallen. You can see the structure of the hotel there. And this must have been absolutely beautiful and it was completed with light coming through the windows. Here is a, uh, a small pool with, uh, with uh, goldfish. The Habana Libra tries very hard to be glamorous but it shows its age and rundown condition. You can see the uh, four chairs here. They're almost dark from uh, not being cleaned. You get the idea. This is not a Hilton anymore. Its condition is that of a one-star hotel that you would find anywhere around the world. That's the elevator right there. And that's all I want to show you. Let's play it safe before we get kicked out of here. Just down the street is the uh, beautiful Hotel Nacional. We'll visit that during a 
separate video but let's go this way so you can see the the bar so you can imagine in 1959 when Castro and the rebels entered guns in hand into this hotel you can imagine the Hilton management listening to the news or watching the news on TV and in terror realizing that their hotel was gone. There would be no more Havana Hilton. Well, not for at least 60 or 70 years anyway. This is Vic. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me. This was the Havana Hilton that lasted for nine months. Bye-bye.